So now, uh, also I'd like to thank very much for uh, Ms. Laura gonzalez Murphy for leading the previous uh, session. Thank you very much. That was very good. Thank you for all, for all the speakers. Uh, this session, the next session, the first session we obviously uh, focused on trafficking. This next session is about uh, countering viol about violent extremism and countering violent extremism. And the moderator is Ms. Camilla PC, uh, an Empire State Fellow for the New York State Office for New Americans uh, as part of the New York Governor's Task Force on Trafficking. Uh, and uh, we'll also have a V. Uh, Lam again, representing USAID, uh, who's a Human Rights Fellow, speaking about uh, USAID's uh, uh, programming in countering violent extremism. Uh, as well, uh, Mr. Uh, Jay Abrama will uh, speak about what the State Department is doing about violent extremism. And uh, without further ado, I turn it over to you. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the second session where we're going to have a chance to delve in a little bit more uh, into the topic of violent extremism and countering violent extremism. And this is a great opportunity to build off of what we talked about in our first session and start tying it in and looking for the interlinkages between trafficking and violent extremism. Uh, we have two excellent speakers. Um, and I will introduce them, although you are all familiar with me. <laughs> so I'll repeat again for those who are not here. Um, he's a democracy fellow uh, in the Human Rights Division of USAID's Center on Excellence, Democracy, Human Rights, and Governance in DC. Uh, he joined AID in 2012 um, and received his PhD uh, from the University of Wisconsin in Madison. We also have uh, Vincent J. Abramo, who's the Construction Safety and Occupational Health Manager the Bureau oversees building operations at the U.S. Department of State, where he's been for the past 25 years managing construction site safety and occupational health programs for um, in the general welfare for more than 16,000 foreign construction workers that are working on sites throughout the world uh, and construction tasks on U.S. Department of State properties. He is a proud alumni of the University of Albany. Um, and also has graduate degrees from Georgetown University's Graduate School of Government and the University of Lyon in France, and holds a Master's of Science and Strategic Intelligence from the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency's National Intelligence University. And so, um, again, we will be delving in a bit more into violent extremism. Uh, v will be talking about uh, what CV programming looks like from the development approach taken by USAID, and Vincent will be looking at a more practical example, we'll sort of zoom in on how um, trafficking and violent, violent extremism can be confronted from the labor perspective and construction and procurement process of the State Department. And maybe um, to, uh, to take a step back too, as we start thinking about these interlinkages and as you hear them talking about the violent extremism, think about some of the terms and, and language used in the last session. It struck me what V said, that trafficking is multifaceted, is complex. Uh, it's related to marginalization, access to livelihoods, land rights, basic services, human rights. I think a lot of that same terminology can be used to describe violent extremism. So already I think we're seeing some of these linkages, um, and I look forward to exploring those with all of you. So V, uh, start us off. Thank you. 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 Thank